China is by far the world's largest seafood producer. China in the 1980s started developing aquaculture, meaning farms along the coast and also digging fish ponds all over the country. In aquaculture, China is bigger than the next seven largest aquaculture producers. But the problem is the water is heavily polluted by oil, by arsenic, by heavy metals, and by the aqua farms themselves. It's very concentrated with too many fish. Seafood farmers are buying cheaper, what they call trash fish, which are dead fish that they chop up and drop in. And those are actually polluted. Most of the feed actually doesn't get eaten by the fish, but hits the bottom, it decomposes, and it further pollutes the water. It's just like sewage that they're throwing in. They're seeing buildups of bacteria and viruses spreading in those waterways. Malachite green, nitrofurin, and fluoroquinolones. These three drugs repeatedly turn up in Chinese seafood despite the bans. And they're using these drugs because these were the most effective to kill viruses, to kill bacteria without killing the fish. The number one consumer of Chinese seafood outside of China is Japan. Most of the exports coming from China for seafood go to other Asian countries and then the U.S. and Europe. Hideo Taniguchi sells eel in Skiji Market in Tokyo. He's also an investor in seven eel producers in China. So, you know, I don't... I'm positive there's malachite green and other chemicals in Chinese imports. It can cause cancer if eaten over a sustained period of time. The Chinese government must instruct people on the proper use of chemicals. But the really serious chemical problems are in eel consumed in China. It's much worse than Chinese imports we receive in Japan. The Japanese government spends over $1,300 testing each 20-ton container of eel for illegal chemicals. The Chinese government has shown that it's aware of these problems and it's moving aggressively to try to counteract them. They have come in with new regulations, punished producers, they have blacklisted companies. Companies have been shut down. That's happened again and again over the last 10 years, and China hasn't been able to shake the problems, and that suggests that the farmers are faced with a situation where they feel it's either I use some drugs or I lose my crop.